This video explains in detail the different values displayed in the info panel while staking out a road model. So upon entering the roading application, the info panel displays guidance telling me to select an element. When working with road data, lines are used as references, so first I will remove the points from the data in the Map View Manager, leaving just the string lines to select. I'll zoom in and select this string line. Now the info panel tells me to measure a new point, so I'll initiate measurements by pressing Start. Current pole position is shown in the screen and measurement data is displayed in the info panel. The first value in the info panel is chainage. This value is based upon the distance along the centre line of the model to the current position. So if I tap and hold zoom out to show the full extent of the data, it's the distance from this point to the measured point along the centre line, 196 metres. In the second page of the info panel, the individual chainage is shown. This is 58 metres because it's relative to the beginning of the selected string line which is a lot shorter as it begins here. To return to the previous zoom level, I tap and hold zoom in. The two values on the second line represent the perpendicular distance to the centre line and the perpendicular distance to the selected string line. So as the pole moves away from the centre line, the distance to the centre line value increases, whilst the distance to the string line decreases. This coloured value here represents the cut and fill value, which is the height offset to the model. The current value is blue, at 328mm below the model. This is best represented in the cross-section mode, which can be activated from the View Modes menu. You can see the point is below the model here. The third line indicates the active layer selected. If the road model has a number of different layers attributed to it, can be selected from the active layer menu in the toolbox. I will select Terrace. Now the new active layer is displayed. The Terrace layer is below the theoretic layer, so the pole position is now above the model, as indicated by the red fill value of 567mm. And if I return to theoretic, these fields display their previous values. Further values are displayed in the second page of the info panel. For these values, I'll enable the split screen view using the view modes menu. I'll select the 60-40 split. Individual chainage, I mentioned already, that's the distance along the string line to the current measured position. This value represents the height difference to the selected string line. So with the current string line selected, the value is 407 mil. If I select a lower string line, the value increases to 1318. D in represents the distance to the next point towards the center line, whilst D out represents the distance to the next point away from the center line. This data is always relevant to the string lines that form the cross slope that the pole is positioned above. Cross slope and long slope values indicate the inclination of the road model at the current position, both along the road and across it. A negative cross slope value here means sloping down from the centre line towards the edge, whilst a negative long slope value here means sloping down along the centre line. In the third page of the info panel, the coordinates of the current position are displayed and the current point ID figure. That is, the next stored point will be given this ID. Point ID can be edited using the button in the measure bar. The value at the top of the info panel represents the distance to the point where the current height would intersect the road profile. This may be useful for building up a road bank, for example. It is possible to configure the content of the info panel by tapping and holding within it. Here on the left hand side, the current configuration is shown. To configure page 3, tap it and define the required values from the options displayed in the central column. If interested in the distance to inner and outer edge, configure the info panel to show just these values. To configure another layout, put the same values in page 4 distributed above one another rather than next to. In page 5, put solely the cut fill value in all six boxes. So, 
the info panel allows you to display the values that are really relevant to your current work and allow you to be flexible. If cut fill is the important value whilst working in roading, then it is clearly displayed using this approach.